Good morning, everybody. I'm Mackie Shulstone. And I'm Spencer Shulstone. And we're going to focus on something that I read about recently in a journal article. Now, the title was The Forgotten Core. And what the article was referring to, Spencer, was the fact that, you know, people that you work with and I've worked with over the years always think about the core as the abdominal muscles. The rectus muscle, the transverse, and the internal and external obliques are the abdominal muscles. But there are, there's much more than that, there, isn't it? There, the core is a complex entity. Yeah, the core is much more than just our abs. Uh, when we look at the core, we look at our lumbar spine, our hips, our pelvis, as well as our groin area. Right, and the area that he talks about in the groin especially women think about this, the pelvic floor. It's the base of the pelvis, it's deep behind the abdominal wall, and it's important for functioning and supporting bladder and bowel function, for holding the organs in place in the lower quadrant. So this morning, you've got an exercise, what, called the banded, the banded um, yeah, so walk? Yeah, so it's uh, banded kettlebell carries. So Usually when you're in the gym, somebody might pick up a kettlebell or dumbbells and have it on both sides and walk. And what we're doing is we're actually offsetting it and you're only gonna have it on one side and then we're adding a band to it. Now the reason why we add a band, and you wanna make sure that you're using a thick band, not one of those really light bands. But what the band's gonna do is it's going to have little micro bounces. So that way your body has to adjust deep in the spine to make sure that you maintain pop, uh, uh, pr proper posture throughout it all. Talk is cheap, let me see you do it. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm using a thick band and for me, I have a 45 pound kettlebell. So I'm gonna wrap it around the horn right here and then I'm going to just put my wrist around it and pick it up. I could also just pick it up straight up without putting my wrist on it and get some added work on my grip strength. Now what I'm gonna do, if you wanna watch out for one second, I'm going to make sure that my back is straight, I'm strong, and I am walking. And then I'm gonna go this way, and turn, and walk back. Now, now, let me point out one thing. Remember, you see that weight dangling and on that band? Be very careful, because if that band is not double reinforced, and it were to break, you would not want that 40 pounds coming and hitting your your foot because that could be real trouble, right? Right, and another way to make it a little bit more safer is you double wrap it. So instead, I have it this way. So that way, in a way, it's got four bands on it and I'm picking it up. Now, you can also do this in place by doing a kettlebell march. So what that would look like is stand, come up, stand, come up, stand, come up. This is a great exercise. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're not letting your body sway this way, but you also don't want to overcompensate and lean this way. You want to stay upright as possible. Do you want to emphasize that when you saw me pick up, and again, 40 pounds, 10 pounds, when I went over, I didn't bend over like that. I went down and bent my legs and I used my legs to lift. So I got a, a modified small squat to help me lift. And then as Spencer said, I kept everything upright and we're affecting not just the abdominals, but the hips and the spinal erectors that hold us upright mm -hmm. and the pelvic floor. Okay, what's next week? Uh, next week, we're gonna be focusing on a little bit more about the core, but we're adding some more movement to it. We're gonna be doing a palm off press with overhead press. P-A-L-L-O-F. Pal off press, all right. While we're marching in place, we'll, we'll keep doing this <laughs> until we see you uh, next week. So I'm Mackie Shulstone. I'm Spencer Shulstone. And we're marching along.